Welcome back everybody. What I'm going to talk about in this video is doing a three-point setup. Now it's different uh, if you watch my first video I was talking about how when you set these up they'll measure these four control points and that's your starting point. Now once in a while it's possible that maybe this torque box has been damaged somewhere in this area somebody run over a parking curb or something and it may be caved in right there which is going to give you a height issue it could be that maybe one of these were stamped wrong at a plant and there could be maybe a two or three millimeter difference in one of these points and what that means is um, if you go back to the original setup on this and I don't know if I actually come out and said this but I but you need four Un, four points undamaged section of the car and usually the manufacturer's measuring systems will tell you where to start and it's either through this point or through this point and you start there and you base your four control points off of right there now once in a while you'll run into an issue where when you put these four control points in you should have probably zero let's see let's go length width and height. So on this point we're going to have 0, 0, 0. This point we may have a 1 in length, 0, 0. These two points they may be 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So that's a real close setup. Everything is it's way under 3 millimeters uh, spec variance and you don't want more than probably a millimeter in your setup but let's say for example this torque box the hole got stamped wrong and it's off or maybe it a uh, wrecker had pulled it out of a ditch and they stretched this out so you can't use it anymore so what happens say you do put an attachment point in there and you end up with I will call it that one right there our width is going to be three our length maybe it's stretched out and we got a two in there and our height is an issue and we got a negative two because it, it got or that's actually a height issue it's it's up so we can't use that point now because this is what happens this measuring system assumes like i said these are undamaged points now you put a damaged point into this equation so what happens instead of it knowing that there is the straight line in the vehicle right there it's going to average these out and what it's going to do it's going to change all of these so here's what it does because like I said it assumes it is an undamaged section of the car so you're going to end up with maybe a one, a one, a one, and you might have a zero, a two, a zero. Here you could have a three, a zero, a zero, and so on. So what that tells me, something isn't right. There's way too many numbers, and this will just average it out because like I said, it, assuming it's an undamaged portion of the car. So what it'll do, it'll take and it'll put that center line at an angle. So now it's telling you this is the center of the car. So anything you measure now is going to be off. And this is where guys get into trouble. They don't check this step out. They don't realize that that's what's going on. And when they straighten these frame rails, they may be off four millimeters this way with that whole front setup and then they go to put the vehicle together the hood and the fenders don't fit the headlights don't fit the grill doesn't fit and they say well the measuring system isn't right it doesn't work I'm not using it anymore it's because it wasn't set up right so what you do to eliminate this problem you find the highest number in this equation in these four torque boxes here which is this one here so we're just going to eliminate that. Now you'll have to go through whatever system you're using and learn how to do a three-point setup. So we're just going to eliminate that one right there and we're just going to use three. And what will happen, now it's going to come back. Once you put that new, new setup in there, 
and you're going to see all mostly zeros. Probably even take some of those out. You may have a one. Now that's only that's showing you're only one millimeter out on two points, and that's going to put you right back down the center, and that's what you want. And that's like I said, that's where guys get into trouble. They don't take care of that right off the get-go. They don't understand it. So if you see when you do your setup, if you see a number in there that's higher than everything else, it's actually taking some numbers, some millimeters measurements off of that high number and distributing them even, and it's going to give you an angled view of your vehicle. So keep that in mind. And uh, see, I think our next video, we're going to do get into some uh, basic pulling techniques. So if you like this video, let me know, send me a comment. Uh, if there's something that I'm not explaining right or you need a little bit of help with or if there's a video, something on a frame that you think I may be able to help you with, let me know. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you're thinking and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.